it's a marvellous adventure to be getting to know the true nature of our mind and a great blessing to be introduced to open intelligence and that's uh, that's certainly my experience and to have the opportunity not just to have the introduction but then to really train up this recognition and uh, I met the training around, <coughs> around 10 years ago <laughs> and um, I was actually very blessed because a good friend of mine living in Bristol asked if some of her friends who were coming over from India and they wanted to, to offer some of the balance sheet training in Bristol, if they could come and stay in my house. And um, I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, great. And, and in, moved, um, in moved four balance view trainers into my home. <laughs> <laughs> and this was really my full introduction to the balance view training. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of whether you think you're open or you're not, that is going to have an impact. <laughs> And so there I was, you know, living my normal little life in Bristol. And I was suddenly in the company of really people I'd never seen demonstrate such qualities, <coughs> such openness, such loving stability, such that consistent love, <laughs> and just in such an ordinary, everyday way. And... Um, I can see really things, it started to, you know, change something for me. And um, there's one thing coming to a meeting, another thing then coming down in the morning <laughs> to, your, to your kitchen and there's Jochen making coffee. <laughs> and, but yeah, what, what, a great, what a great blessing. I feel like it was... Um, and... Uh, I think I came to one open meeting, is that right, Cathy? Yeah, one. <laughs> sort of showed up, you know. But, but, um, but I was, you could say I was, I was listening and I was watching. I couldn't, I couldn't not notice that there was something that was brightening up. <laughs> brightening up through even simply knowing people who were relying on open intelligence, getting to know the nature of their mind and really living that, living the benefits, living the results. And, um, and I think in the beginning, then I just started listening to talks on my own. <laughs> I get a, bit, a little bit behind a rock. Just to, to really see for myself, like what, okay, well, what is it that, that these people are, are living these new friends, they're living, and, and how does that look for me? And, um, and then I, and also I'd received the introduction to open intelligence and short moments, and I, I wanted to just put that to the test. So how is it when I, when I rest mind and body in the morning? <laughs> and uh, when, when all sorts of different data streams may arise, and it's amazing to be so honest with ourselves about what our data streams, what, what it is that's coming up. So I see that very much for myself that I had this idea of being a positive person. And it, it can still be there as a sort of general idea. Oh, yeah, I'm just a positive person. <laughs> like a little like, headline, you know, the plane that takes the flag across the sky, I'm a positive person. And, um, but if I, if I really look, mm -hmm. And if I'm really honest, I am so not positive. <laughs> I'm like, I am so negative. It's ridiculous. It's like, you know, the sort of like criticism, unworthiness, guilt. Props to guilt. Oh my God. It's like everywhere. <laughs> I'm basically like, I'm to blame for something. <laughs> Surely I've done something wrong. I'm just flawed in some way. I don't even know. It's just sort of like a vague sense of like an atmosphere of guilt that's there. I mean, 
the gift, the gift of a short moment right there, you know, the gift of not living any longer in the descriptions of our experience, you know, and if a data stream arises and then there's this entire, for me, like, you know, all through my life, like this analysis and and um, picking it apart, trying to find out where it came from, what is it, how, how can I understand it? And now, after the introduction to open intelligence, knowing we have a choice, that we rest mind and body right there. We allow the data stream to be as it is. We allow the description, also a data stream to be as it is. We allow everything to arise naturally, perfectly inseparable from open intelligence, pervaded by open intelligence, pervaded by restful open intelligence, completely already relaxed in its arising and its resolving. We need to do nothing to make the data stream resolve, just like a, a snake in a knot naturally undoes itself. So yes, yeah, seeing that the data just, they do like mist in the air, dispersing, effortlessly back into complete openness that's always the case and uh, it's uh, it's it's truly amazing because I can see there's you know a data stream like guilt arising could keep could have kept me completely bound up <laughs> for the entire life and then making up so many stories about why that is and you know self-diagnosis or something I've done wrong or, and now it's just in an instant of open intelligence, recognition, wide open, fresh and new, refreshing in every single moment, open intelligence. A I, love, I love the phrase in the empowerment, refreshing and fantastic. <laughs> so open intelligence is, it's like a, you know, it's a bit loud. <laughs> But it, you know, it's the nature of it's the it's the nature of our mind. It's the nature of reality, self-clearing on its own, moment by moment, every instant, fresh and new. Just take a look. The data stream we had a moment ago gone. Next one arising. Just this continuous, perfect flow of experience. And when we rest as what's looking, we rest at the the basis of all perceptions. There's complete relaxation. There's complete relaxation right there. Nothing to be done <laughs> with the appearance. Wow. That's amazing. And I've seen for myself, putting myself in the situation that I can support myself the most in this recognition is of paramount importance in my life. So being with other people who are also making this choice, this most essential choice to champion reality <laughs> instead of live in the confusion of the descriptions of experience and taking that to be true. Assumptions, belief systems, the idea that I'm a positive person and then trying to make that how it is. I mean, it's really weird. <laughs> So the moment a negative thought or feeling comes up, like guilt or feeling like I've done something wrong, and there's an immediate assault on that data stream. Eliminate it from, from the view, because it does not fit into this picture of being a positive person, as I've learned. Get rid of it. Okay. Replace it with something better. No, you're, you're actually all right. You're all right. You know, you're doing You're all right. <laughs> Avoid it. Just uh, have a coffee, <laughs> get rid of the guilt, <laughs> drink it away, get the heart rate going, <laughs> have a new concern. <laughs> it's also another way, isn't it? Just replace a negative with a negative. And, um, or indulge it. It's a, it's a great one. I think it's very normal with guilt for me, just like going into it. Yeah, definitely, definitely done something wrong here. Is that also that impending doom feeling? Oh, what's the day going to bring? 
I mean, it was really, I'm, I'm, I'm laugh, I can laugh now, but it was very, it was, you know, it was really normal. It was really normal to wake up with that feeling and then just uh, there'd be this sort of uh, creating of a sort of momentary structure that felt like it could support me. Okay, like, hey, what, you know, what can I prepare myself for mentally for the day? And um, in order to feel most kind of prepared and sort of strong and, um, you know, just so I'll be okay. And now we just rest. <laughs> you recognize what's at the basis. You recognize open intelligence shining brightly, inseparable from that data stream, knowing its true nature. Can't, can't fool you anymore. <laughs> can't fool us. Seeing straight through and really starting to enjoy the benefit, the immediate benefit that's present in open intelligence's completely dynamic power. Because when we rest for a short moment and, um, and really allow everything to be so pure and open and simple, um, that's what we get to know. We get to know the immediate beneficial power of open intelligence. It's not locked down into this horrible label. <laughs> that you've just taken something to mean that's randomly applied, really. Randomly applied, the, okay, it's this. And then there's this entire sort of sense of needing to do something about it and fix it. And instead, just the complete relaxation and, and, and it, you know, this incredible stability that comes about to be as we are and experience everything fully. And really, like, I, it's a, that's the marvellous adventure. It's ever-expanding and inexhaustible, this opening. The opening of our intelligence and getting to know its true nature, our true nature as it is. And everything, you know, there's everything available to bring this about in a, again, inexhaustible way. <laughs> there's no end. There's no end. So training up open intelligence and the f support of Balanced View, the Empowerment Network, which is um, so available to anyone, so available. Endless talks, trainer, community train trainings to really bring this about in an everyday lived way, not as something um, removed and special, but really getting to know our power as human beings and not settling for the limited idea we've taken to be true. It's so, it's so done. And um, my great gratitude to Candice for standing up and speaking up for this and just saying, no, I won't go that way. <laughs> I won't perpetuate the suffering. I won't perpetuate the confusion. You know, her seeing what's real and going for that, and not just going for that for herself, but that unstoppable movement of open intelligence to be of benefit to all. And that's what we see come about. This heart movement that nothing can stop it. <laughs> and getting to know that is, is, is most, most precious. And then we see really what we as individuals and collectively as society we can do. And I see it every day, every day here at the center role modeled as I saw every day in my home in 2007. <laughs> and it's, it's growing ever more obvious and real.